Hey friends, welcome to the testing video. We don't want to bore you here, so this one's going to be pretty quick and simple because testing these fidget spinners is relatively self-explanatory. The way we design these is essentially, all you want to do is pinch that little elastic tubing sticking out of the bearing and make sure that there's as much clearance as possible between the fidget spinner and your hand so your hand doesn't slow it down and stop it. From there, try to generate some of that angular momentum using a flick or a hard spin. As we do start to wrap up this project, we do encourage you to take one last long solid look at the bearing. Feel free to add any last reinforcements so we make sure that it's not going anywhere and that it's nice and straight. And because this is an open-ended design challenge, friends, we mean it when we say we want you to make this project your own. You should have plenty of weights and options to choose from. So check out what we did here. We put weights both above and below the popsicle sticks, and it seemed like that extra weight helped the fidget spinner spin longer. See if you can come to the same conclusion or add any other features to your fidget spinner to make it last longer. And finally, once you do think that you have a winning combination, then you can really get the hot glue out and you can glue those weights down instead of just glue dot them and make your fidget spinner a permanent one. As far as maintenance for your machine goes, we encourage you to experiment with that too. These bearings tend to need to be lubricated. So if you plan on keeping it for the long term, maybe try some lubrication in there at some point or even just cleaning it off with a Q-tip.